Hydrogen peroxide, does it work? Let's find out. Hello, Canadian gardeners, cold climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. If you are new around here, my name is Ashley. I am a soil scientist by formal education with a minor in plant science. And on this channel, we take that science and we actually apply it to the garden and plant care tips. So if you like the sounds of that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. So I actually had this request to do this video from one of the loyal subscribers asking about hydrogen peroxide. So here is your answer. Hydrogen peroxide is obviously something you can buy in the medical section of your grocery store and it is literally hydrogen peroxide. Theory is that it can be used for fungal, bacterial, and also as an insecticide on your plant leaves. Now, the truth for when it comes to hydrogen peroxide is that it is very quickly degraded. So if you leave the cap off or if you expose it to too much air, it quickly degrades and disappears. That means when it's being used for something like a fungal or a bacterial infection, the likelihood of it doing anything is very low because it can't stay on the plant's cuticle and then permeate to its epidermis long enough to actually make an effect. So because we're trying to get into that cuticle and then treat the infection which is located in the epidermis mesophyll area, we hydrogen peroxide is not effective in this sense. Is it going to hurt your plant? Absolutely not. Because it degrades so quickly, it's actually really good <laughs> for not harming your plants. It can be used to disinfect things like tools that you use in the garden because it will disinfect the tool and it evaporates very quickly, degrades very quickly, so then you're not harming your plant when you actually go in to start clipping or trimming or adjusting something on the plant. Now, when it comes to it being an insecticide, if the eggs or the bugs are located on the leaf and you dampen a cloth with hydrogen peroxide and you kind of wipe those bugs or those eggs off the plant, it's going to be the same as if you just took water, put it on a cloth and then wiped the bottom of the leaf off, removing kind of the bugs. Something that's going to be a little bit more effective for you is actually a wet cloth with a little bit of dish soap on it, not much. You do not want to coat the leaf with an outer dish soap layer and then just wipe those leaves off very lightly with kind of a dish soap water mixture. This is going to be more effective because A, it is going to sanitize the bugs and the eggs that are present, but it's also going to leave kind of a film on the leaf, which will then in turn kind of be a deflection for the bug because their legs and stuff, they won't want to climb on the leaf itself. So that is probably more effective than using hydrogen peroxide on the leaf. Can you use hydrogen peroxide? Yes, absolutely. Will it work? Probably in some cases it will. Is it going to hurt anything? Absolutely not. So the hydrogen peroxide hack is debunked-ish. It's gonna work great for your tools. It's probably not gonna treat much in the regards to the leaves of the plant. You're better with a dish soap water mixture, but other than that, that's all I have to say about hydrogen peroxide. If this helped, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you've used hydrogen peroxide in the garden and how you went about doing it. And as always, be sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this and share the video with someone you love if they're interested in plant garden, plant science, and all that fun stuff. I will see you guys next time. Oh, hey there, are you still watching? Make sure to hit that subscribe button for some more awesome fun videos.